Hello again, Battle Brawlers. I am back with another awesome unboxing. I just wanted to start my video off with all these good old Bakugans in front, like Dragonoid and good old Bakugan. Um, whatever you have, Geogon dice, you know. I have these all here, up here with me, up here, you know. But I have my last unboxing of the night. It is my it was my last one for a while until I ever until I until I ever well until my packages come ever in the mail whenever those come in because that's what I'll have some unboxings to do then. But yeah, I like how spinny this one is right here. The Stardox the Stardox is Stardox is pretty pretty spinny. Yeah. And this guy he likes to follow but he looks pretty dope actually, this guy. So if one of his arms goes further back than it really should. <laughs> oh well. Still looks pretty awesome. It's, it's good to have them in my collection. But anyway, yeah, I have an unboxing to do, so I'm gonna stand this thing back up normally. Let me see if I can angle this here a little more. Alright, I'm gonna unbox it like this and see if that works because yeah, it's right here. I'm gonna get this thing undone. I'm gonna move this white guy over, this white background head, black one over over here. I'm gonna move this green guy over here. I'll move him onto the stand thing here. I'm gonna move this guy over here. Arc wheel on can go over here. And then I can unbox this back behind set. Actually arc wheel on is gonna have to move entirely. I'll move him over here. But yeah, I'm gonna unbox this back behind set and get into this bad boy. So I need to get my handy dang knife. This is gonna be a pretty cool video. Let's see original dragon noise just chillaxing. Right there. <laughs> I'm moving out of the way too. And this gate trainer thing can go over here. Let's get into this tape here and all that, you know what I'm saying? On the side here. Think about that. Now I don't know if that's all I need to undo. One sec guys, I'm just gonna slice through some cardboard a little bit, just not to break the box too much. Kind of wreck the box to the same the top. There we go. Oh, I got the back a little bit, but oh well. I use it to hold the back of here. I right, the back of going um, shape, guys. The jib on. <laughs> Oops, shoot, I repaid more. Oh well, it still works. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool. Same thing as that. Why in the world? Why in the world? What in the world? Look at that. I'm assuming the back of the core is in here. These are the cards. This is the cool little backing I'm actually going to use 
for the, uh, the the shape guys, but I'm gonna put it in the box for now. Now there is one backbone I already have in here. I'll get it out in a minute. I already have this Bakugan right here. This darkest one, I believe it's uh, Corfenica. But that doesn't really matter, I'll still show it in the video. Because it's still one of the Bakugan I got. That over here. Now I'm gonna get into the cores and the cards. So I'm gonna put the cards aside first. And I grab my handy dandy tonight. I'm going to take a look at this list and see if it's any different from the uh, other stuff. No, it's no different really. Nothing's changed from Wave 1 and stuff like that. Alright, so first things first. So... Alright, so first core is, I'm going to go with the helix. First core is this helix, and it is plus 300B, plus 3 damage. Next is another helix, plus, or no, minus 100B, plus 4 damage, sorry. And that's the second helix. Anyways, and then the orange shield... For Aquas and Pyrus plus 400B. One second. And then another Helix. Minus 200B and minus 2 damage. And then plus two hundred B orange shield. And then flame fist plus two fifty B plus three. And now I'm gonna get into the cards. Alright, so I'm going to start with the three gate cards that I get. I'm pretty sure I may already have one and I may not, I don't know. Then it's uh, Chaos, I think what, what I'm thinking looks like Titan Gorthion. 
and it has 300B, one or for Pyrus, and then 100 for Aquas, 300 for Ventus, 600 for Halos, 200 for Arliss, 100 for uh, Darkus. And one I literally just got to today. There we go. And then another gate card I got is uh, another Ventusculator one. And it is minus 200B plus 700 for uh, or minus 200, 200 for uh, minus 200 for Pyrus. 700 for Aquas, 700 for Ventus, minus 200 for Halos, 700 for Aurelis, minus 200 for Darkus. And then another one I just got today, too. And then this one I just got today, it's uh, the one with the Pyravian on it. 200B minus for Pyrus, and then 700 for Aquas, minus 200 for Ventus, minus 200 for Chaos, 700 for Arliss, 700 for Darkus. See, so I just got that card today, too. There's two cards I got today that I got again. Alright. Next up, I got a fusion card. What the heck? Okay. Eldritch, Darkus, Doom. Okay. Minus seven hundred. <sighs> Minus seven hundred B. And it's a darkest Ventus card. One sec. Let me bring. It. Let me bring it to the camera here. There you guys go. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually bring this up a little bit more. Trying to make so, make it so that I can actually see the stupid thing. Oh, screw it. I'm just gonna do it the way I had it because, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I have to have it this way for now because I have to figure out what the heck I did there wrong. Alright. Next card is a Ventus card, and it is called Mud, Mud I know, Mutasac, Mutasect, no, it's a Geogon, sorry, Mutasect, Geogon card, sorry, and it's 1100B, that's awesome, that's my second one with that B power, 8 damage, and it has got a Flame Fist, and it is, on a Flame sorry, on a Flame Fist, it, land, it, it, it gets 4 damage, Plus four damage on a helix against plus two hundred B and plus I think Shadow Strike. And that's not a bad B power for a Ventus Geogon. And then I got another fusion card. Ventus Show Cat. It is a plus two damage and search or seek or whatever the heck they call that. Oop. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then the next card is Stardox, 800B and 4 damage, and it is plus 600B on a green fist, and plus 6 damage on a orange shield. Right on, there we go. 
This is another fusion. Aquas Pyrus card. Um, it's called Aqua Steam Strike. It's got a dragon right on there. That's awesome. And it is got is plus frost plus five frost strike and double da and plus double damage. Right on. Next is uh Felcron Pyrus. 700B, one damage. Takes two helix. Sheet. There we go. Side over there for now. It's actually over here. Oops. And then next is a Dark Scar Body Crusher. And it says plus four damage and seek or search or whatever the heck they call that. Scan. Next is Fenica, which I already have. 300B, 5 damage, plus 500B on an orange or on a flame fist. Alright. Triple Blazing Barrage, plus 200B, and plus 2 damage, and Seek or Search, or what have you. There we go. And then I have Darkest Dragon, one of my favorite of the core ones in the set. It is 600 Bs, 3 damage, and then there's a V in the search or seek or what have you, whatever the hell that stuff is. But yeah, Darkest Dragon, he looks pretty cool. Ugh. <sighs> Not gonna lie, that took a lot of energy to read all those cards. <laughs> That's a lot of cards. And there's not even a lot of cards, but it's just cards. Mm -mm. Alright, so I'm gonna move the cards and geo going out of the way. And I'm gonna roll the back and going out onto some cores. Not gonna really work out too, too good because of where it is at, but it might work. It's on a bit of a slant because there's a little spot on this thing because it's part of the chair. Go those there. I want these two core. There we go. I'm going to roll this out. I should probably move this up a little bit. Man, I hate that when stuff never works out the way it's supposed to. There we go. I'm going to roll out the one I already have first. Yeah, there we go. That's the first one. It is the Darkest Fenica. It looks pretty decent. I like this core back one. Ooh. I like this core back one. It's not bad. It's not too bad of a core one. Oops. Dropped him again. Mm. But yeah. I'm going to roll this guy back up. There. Ooh. There we go, I closed them up. I'm gonna put them to the side. Let's go on this card for now. I'm gonna buy that card or whatever. Next is Pyrus Felcron. Oop, there we go. I kind of had to put them a little bit, I guess. Hmm. We have Pyrus Felcron, that was pretty cool. They put a green beak on him with some green eyes. I like how he looks actually in Pyrus, he looks pretty cool. 
Seven hundred Bs is pretty high power actually for a quarterback gun. It's not bad. It's not a bad quarterback gun. Oop. Accidentally uh close his wing before I close before I close his foot. There we go. He's not too hard to close this guy. He's actually pretty cool as one. I like how it looks in ball form, etc., etc. <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Next up is the Beast of the Resistance. <laughs> Instead of the Beast of the Resistance, and they didn't even do anything. You hit original dragon right now. Original dragon like, peed off, bro. Like, what was that, bro? But yeah, one thing I like about Core Dragonoid is that you can actually move this guy's arms. I actually seen a post on Facebook where someone actually made his uh, Aquas Dragonoid's arms move, which is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. However, there's only an extent to where I like to move my Dragonoid's arms, because otherwise they block him his wings from moving. But yeah, that looks this looks pretty cool. I like Darkest Dragon. It looks pretty awesome in Darkest. I only have one Ultra form so far that they made, and that was the Aquas one. I hope I get the Pyrus one soon. Perfect. There we go. Next up is the Geogon. Where did I put those two? Right here. I'm going to drop them down on the core. I'll move the Darkest guy out of the way. All right, three, two, one. All right, he fell over. Should have just rolled him out. Yeah, this guy's arms don't go all the way back. It's good. Mm. Means he was built. Ooh. Means he was built right. Unless I mess him up. Mm. His arms even got some cool yellow in them. That one has blue in it. So cool, yeah. This one's cool. I like the. I like what they did with the yellow and the. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, there. <sighs> I had tried to hold that in, but yeah. I like what they did with the nice dark green and the yellow, man. It's totally awesome. And then the light green. That makes it look pretty dope. I like the translucent green. Makes them, I don't know, brings, them out, brings the color in them out a lot more. Just gonna close this guy up. There we go. Did I get it? I think so. I think I got him closed. I think I'm supposed to close them a little differently, but I didn't, I guess. <laughs> See? You can just roll them out, and he rolls out nicely. Mm. But yeah, I'm going to close the guy up again, but this time I'm going to try to not clank and click that. That was, that was terrible sounding, actually. I'm going to try. Exactly. I'm just trying to figure. There you go. I guess I have to click that one in. There we go. Ooh. That one's closed up. It's already kind of closed. I feel like a little bit, but it's not too bad. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'll put him by the chaos one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention. He's got a little tail that actually opens up. I didn't know about until like I like. Check my chaos one out, and yeah, he's got a little tail that pops out. <laughs> little little tail. <laughs> Next Baku gone to open up our Geo gone is the Stardox. Missed. Oh, actually, one sec. Before I do that, I want to see some. Okay, yeah, it does too. I like the Arlo's one. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. Holy. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna actually read. I'm gonna read. Kind of do that a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna put it over here and open them up. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, that looks so cool. I love how shiny the gold is on that. Like, look how like super duper shiny that is, man. Like, that is just awesome. 
even the eye, like even near the eyes, and it's super duper shiny gold. And it's so cool. Yo, that is so so cool. I like that. Boom. Stardox. Yeah, now I have two Stardox. I have Aquas and Aurelis. <sighs> oh, sorry about that. And then I got two of this guy. I got a Ventus one and a Chaos one. It's like, oh yeah, it's like, what's up, brother? What's good? Yeah, what's good, brother? Wanna go, hog? Wanna go, my dude? Wanna go? Boom, 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 boom. One is, I can't remember how, they, how much B power they have. One's 800B. One's 1100B. This Bakugan, or this Geogon right here, or, um, Search Rian, or Search, Search, Search Rin, or whatever the heck, Search Rian, Search Rian, is 1100B as well. This one is 500B. This Stardox is 1400B. Where is that? Right there. But yeah, and then this Stardox is 900B, I think is what it was. 800B, sorry. I think I'm right. Am I reading that right? Yes, 800B. 800 is what it really said. 800 B power. Yeah. Alright, guys. Well, that'll be it for this video. But I'm going to be, uh,. Well, whenever I get, whenever I can get some more money ever again, like whenever that is, whenever I get paid again, which will be a while from now. But whenever I get money again, I will be buying some more back going. If I ever come across some more new stuff, I will uh, definitely be doing some more unboxings. But for now, this is all she wrote. Comment, like, subscribe. I will be doing more unboxings as we go along and all that. <sighs> Holy, I'm tired. Anyways, peace out, peace out for now, and uh, also stay chill and uh, Bakugan brawl. Star Docs is out of here.